China's far, far north is as remote as it is extreme. It's not an easy place to reach an old rickety sleeper train, one of the only ways in. Oh, wow. See us here. The air here is so bleak oh, wow. and so bitter, it literally catches your breath. Tourists and locals alike bracing. It's genuinely dangerous to stay outside too long. Mohe is known as China's North Pole. It's exposed, extreme and exceptionally cold. Temperatures this week sunk the lowest in modern Chinese history. It's actually hard to describe the cold here. It's so intense. It literally takes your breath away and any moisture on you in your eyelashes or your nose just completely freezes up. And it's hardly surprising really because we are about as far north as you can possibly get in China. Across this frozen river, those hills over there, that's Russia. It's freezing air from neighboring Siberia that's caused this and it's excessive, even for those with experience. Mr. Shia was born here. He lives and works in this small shop. He welcomed us in for hot water and respite. Scientists have linked warming seas to cold snaps in places like this. And it's remarkable when contrasted to this. China saw a summer of historic heat waves and droughts. Part of the Great Yangtze River dried up. The cold here is used as a target for tourists. This traditional festival made entirely of ice. Ho Di has travelled here from hot southern Guangdong, a victim of the summer's extremes. People here are increasingly conscious of the global slide towards climate catastrophe. But even for a place no stranger to severity, it is a remarkable new record. Helen Ann Smith, Heilongjiang province in northern China.